joining us today on Gets Academic for this playoff match. Some teams 10 points, for each correct answer, 10 points off, should you miss. Our category is B in the middle, B like in boy. Be alert and be calm here because all your answer, answers must be five letter words with a B in the middle. Five letters, B in the middle. All set? We begin. Created in 1913, this cabinet department is concerned with workers. C. Milton Wright, labor. labor. That's the B in the middle of the five letter word. That's it, Kevin. Next. This bone and the fibula. Yes, century. The tibia. The tibia. You got it, Mike. Next. Libreville is the capital of this century. What you got? Libya. Uh, good try. Gabon. Gabon was the rest of West African country. Next. Playwright Carl Chopik introduced this word meaning mechanical man. Yeah, see Milton Wright. Robot. Robot. That's it. Good. Next. This is the zodiac sign of the scales. Century. Uh, Libra. Libra. You got it, Mike. Next. It's in this yes century. Dubai. Dubai. Thanks for your assist, Noah. Next. This is the Russia's monetary unit. Century. The ruble. Ruble, the five-letter word with the B in the middle. And lastly, jewelry is sometimes made of this hard, translucent fossil resin. Century. Amber. Amber. And that's the end of the game. Wonderful crowd up there. I think everybody's got a sign up there, and we've got nine great players here. Let's the first of our three teams. I help them see Milton Wright and welcome Griffin and Kevin and Julia back here. We have one senior and two juniors over there. Griffin, tell us your story. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank our administrator, Mr. Mike Thatcher, for coming out to support us today. And uh, my name is Griffin Mullen. In addition to competing in this academic, I'm involved in my school's band. Jazz band and drama department. What's your instrument? French horn and mellophone and guitar and piano. Wow. What a talented guy. Good to have you here. Kevin. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm a senior at Seamount Wright. In addition to uh, academic team, I'm the senior class president, uh, a member of the National Honor Society. I'm on the baseball team and I run cross country and I'm in the band. And I'd like to thank our friends and family for coming out today. You do it all, Kevin. You're a big man on campus over there. Nice to have you back. Julia. Hi, I'm Julia Stratford, and I'm a junior at Seamount Wright High School. In addition to academic team, I'm the captain of the Relay for Life team. I participate in the All-County Orchestra, and I'm a member of the National Honor Society. I'd like to thank our coach, Mrs. Wise, for being here today. She appreciates that. She'll be up on stage in a few moments. Thanks for sharing all that with us, Julia. Seamount Wright, these are for you. 20 points, no penalties. Look at your monitor, please. With one word from each column, you can name what body of water on which Poland and Lithuania are located. Baltic Sea. You got it. Next. Ancient, insufferable, or medicinal. Something that is archaic can best be described by which of these words? Ancient. Yes, sir. In 1992, Bill Gates was elected the 42nd President of the United States. That doesn't sound right. Can you change one word and correct it? Uh, Gates to Clinton. That's it. Next. A flame and to dismiss an employee. What same word fits both of these <coughs> definitions? Fire. Fire it is. Lastly, idealism is the blank that politicians drape over their will to power. To complete this quote from an English author, place in the blank space what garment worn by male citizens of ancient Rome? Yeah. Sure. Toga? It is a toga. Nicely done. <laughs> Daniel, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Daniel Coco. I'm a senior at Baltimore City College. In addition to its academic, I'm on the newspaper, um, robotics, uh, environmental club, and GSA. And I'd like to thank our coach, his coaches, and uh, principal for coming out today. They will be up here in a few moments. You're a busy guy over there, Dan. Thanks for being here today. Jake, welcome to you. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm a senior at Baltimore City College. In addition to its academic, I play piano, and I'm on the frisbee team. I'd like to thank everyone for showing up. Yeah, you've got a lot of fans out there. You're a good player, Jake. Pope, nice to have you here for the first time. Um, Tell us your story. 
My name is Fope Father Jutimi. Um, I'm a junior at uh, Baltimore City College. Um, and in addition to its academic, I'm also on the soccer team and in the international club. And I would like to thank, thank the uh, Baltimore City cheerleaders for coming here to support us. Yeah, they appreciated that too. All right, guys, <laughs> look at your monitor, please. These are for you 20 points, no penalty. Using one word from each column, see if you can find what title held by Ban Ki moon, head of the United Nations. Secretary General? Yes, sir. Polyphony, polymer, or polygamy. Which of these words names a type of music that has two or more melodic themes used at the same time? Polyphony. Yes, indeed. Deuterium oxide is another name for soda water. Somehow that doesn't sound right. Can you change just one word for me and make it scientifically correct? Carbon? Uh, good try. It's heavy water instead of soda water. Next. To barbecue and open ironwork. What same word fits both these definitions? Um, grill. Grill is, yes, sir. And lastly, the hardest thing to learn in life is which blank to cross and which to burn. You can complete this quote by placing in the blank what type of span that can be suspension or cantilever. Bridge. Bridge it is. Well done. <laughs> Men in black over here, AJ and Michael and Noah. You're looking good. AJ, tell us your story. Hi, I'm AJ Johnson. I'm a senior. In addition to this academic, I'm a member of the National Honor Society, the chemistry team, the chess team, the robotics team, STEM executive board, and the class executive board. I'd like to thank our alternates, uh, Eric, Alec, Hannah, Drew, and Matt for supporting us today. Wow, take a breath. You really had that done. <laughs> nice job there, AJ. Michael, welcome to you. Hi, I'm Mike Energeska, and I'm a senior. In addition to this academic, I am part of the National Honor Society, the chemistry team, as well as the track team. Uh, I'd like to thank our uh, assistant principal, Ms. Janowitz, and our director of high schools, Ms. Kearns, for coming out to support us today. Wonderful. They'll be up in a few moments. Thanks, Mike. Good captain there. Noah, we missed you last time. Good to have you back. Uh, hi, my name is Noah, and I'm a junior at uh, Century. Uh, in addition to its academic, I am on the uh, NHS and the Triumph Music Honor Society, and I play the cello in the uh, school orchestra, the all-county orchestra, and the pit orchestra. I'd like to thank our family and friends who showed up here today and who have helped us all along the way to make this a very successful season. Wow, very nice. Nicely done there, Noah. Uh, accomplished musician. Young men, look at your monitor, please. 20 points, no penalties. Choose one word from each column there, and you'll complete what phrase that nicknames the 20th Amendment to the Constitution? Lame duck. That's it. Venal, altruistic, or turbid. Someone who gives a lot of money to charity can best be described by which of these words? Altruistic. That's right. About 78% of the air we breathe is made up of helium. Not quite. Can you change one word and correct it? Helium to nitrogen. That's the way to do it. Person under legal age and a type of musical scale. What same word would satisfy both of these definitions? Minor. Minor it is. And lastly, the coldest winter I ever spent was a summer in blank. You can complete this observation from Mark Twain with the name of what northern California city that suffered a devastating 1906 earthquake? San Francisco. That would be it. Nicely done. <laughs> Thanks.
Find out more about the Orioles' involvement in education and in the lives of youth in our community. Why don't you visit them at OriolesReach.com. Before you go to the ballpark, why don't you check us out on the It's Academic Facebook page. What a game we've got going. Let's check that score before we move on. Right now, see Milton Wright, 220. Baltimore City College, 180. And Century at 200. <laughs> Everybody plays a competitive round. The picture with each question, 20 points for each correct answer, 20 points off. Should you miss first picture coming into view? This lady, whose portrait you see, was painted by what same Renaissance? C. Milton Wright. Da Vinci. It is indeed Da Vinci. Nice answer, Griffin. Next. In the 1970s, the Georgia governor's mansion was home to what Democrat who went on? Yes, Baltimore City College. Carter. Jimmy Carter. You got it, Jake. Next. In 1546, Titian painted Andrea Gritti, who held what high public office? The chief magistrate and ruler of Venice. See Milton Wright. The Doge. The Doge is right, Griffin. Next, solve for X for me, please. Century. Okay, What's that? X minus What you got? One. 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 One it is, one. yes. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Next picture. Teddy Roosevelt's 1904 campaign ad included a quote from Faust, the major work by what German author? See Milton Wright. Goethe. Goethe, it is, yes indeed. Next, this mosque is located in Bukhara, a Central Asian city in what country where Tashkent, yes, century? Yes. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. You got it. Nicely done. Next, here's a choice. These religious figures were crafted by what pre-Roman Italian civilization? The Druids, the Etruscans, or the Mayans? Century. Etruscans. That would be right. Last picture coming into view. Bituminous coal, like this, contains less carbon and is of lower quality. Yeah, century. Sulfur. Anthracite. A initial square where you're headed. So nice. Your guys are just the best. Before we move on and ask any more questions, let's go behind the scenes and talk to the faculty, coaches, and administrators at our three fine schools. We go to see Milton Wright currently with 280 points, tied for the lead. Kevin, some familiar figures back there. Tell us who they are. Uh, to my right is our esteemed principal, Mr. Michael Thatcher, and to my left is our illustrious coach, Mrs. Lucy Wise Gladwell. Esteemed and illustrious. points for that. Baltimore City College and Jake, uh, 200 points there, and uh, some familiar people back there too. Lots of big supporters. Tell us who they are. Hi, to my right I have our coach, Mr. Baker. Behind me I have our principal, Ms. Cindy Harkum, and to my left is our other coach, Mr. Benson. Thank you all for being here. All you <laughs> Points tied for the lead, the team at Century, and Michael, would you do the honors? Again, some familiar ladies back there. On my right, we have our assistant principal, Ms. Janowitz, and on our left, we have the secretary director of high schools, Ms. Ms. Kearns. Mr. Farron couldn't make today due to his participation in the Vex World or Box Championships in Louisville, Kentucky. Well, we miss him here. Yeah. <laughs> You know, in our next round of questioning, if our teams answer all questions correctly, we award them 25 bonus points. We make a big fuss. We uh, light up lights. We release balloons. And uh, since the lights are flashing in front of you, Jake, would you pick one of these packets, one, two, or three, for the Milton Wright teams? One. Number one. All right. Griffin, Kevin, and Julia, let's get them all. We begin. The one-legged toy soldier in the Hans Christian Andersen story was made of what same metallic element as the woodsman in The Wizard of Oz? Okay. That's it, yeah. The American Minerva, one of the country's first newspapers, was edited by what man who also published the first American dictionary? Webster. Webster. Noah Webster, yeah. If you sailed east from Australia, following the Tropic of Capricorn, your first major landfall would be what long, narrow country on South America's west coast? Sure. Chile? Chile it is, yeah. Science question. Look at your monitor. Pito 2, barometer, or stethoscope? The flow speed of a gas, such as air, may be measured using which of these? So, yeah. Pitot tube. Pitot tube it is, yep. 
The pillars of Hercules are the rocky promontories flanking what strait connecting the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea? Strait of Gibraltar. That's it, absolutely. The police may rely on fingerprints, but Sherlock Holmes once solved a case involving the paw prints of the gigantic hound of what family Basker in the Basker story's Basker title? Basker Hills? That would be right. Math, que math question for you. Look at your monitor. Solve for X for me, please. 140 degrees. It is 140. I have 25 bonus points if you get this, so see Milton, right? Listen carefully. The U.S. mail was first transported in railroad cars in 1838 during the administration of what? Eighth president. Van Buren. You got it. 25. <laughs> Michael, two or three for Baltimore City College? Two. Two, all right. Daniel, Jake, Fope, we begin. Get them all. There are over 48 million search results on Google for what 15th century girl who led French armies before being burned at the stake? Joan of Arc. That would be she. Next. According to the Constitution, it takes either a confession in open court or the testimony of two witnesses to convict someone of what unpatriotic crime? Treason. That's it. In 1204, what Mongol conqueror ordered each of his men to build five extra campfires to trick his enemies into thinking he had more soldiers than he really did? Genghis Khan. That's right. Nice answer, Dan. Science question for you, gentlemen. Lavoisier, Rutherford, or Archimedes? The idea that the atom is mostly empty space was first clearly stated by which of these scientists? Archimedes. No, Rutherford. Rutherford was the right answer there. Next. Those seeking straight answers might avoid Crooked Island in what country where Nassau is the capital? Jamaica. Uh, the Bahamas. The Bahamas was the right one there. Next. The last animated feature Walt Disney personally supervised was an adaptation of what Rudyard Kipling work about Mowgli and his wild animal friends? The Jungle Book. That's it. Math question for you, Baltimore City. Perform the indicated operation, giving me your answer as a positive integer. 12. It is 12. Last question for you in this round. The Head Start program was part of the War on Poverty, declared by what 36th U.S. president, a Democrat from Texas? Johnson. LBJ. That's the way to do it. <laughs> A.J., Mike, Noah, let's get them all. We begin. Adolf Hitler was infuriated when Jesse Owens, an African-American, won four gold medals at the 1936 Olympics held in what largest German city? Berlin. Berlin is right. Yes. The title of one Alexander Dumas novel names a black variety of what flower grown from bulbs in Holland? Tulip. Tulips is right. Yep. During World War I, Lawrence of Arabia led Arab warriors into battle against what Turkish Empire, which then ruled most of the Middle East? Ottoman Empire. Yes, sir. Science question for you, gentlemen. Two, three, or four. Which of these figures represents the number of protons in the most common isotope of the helium atom? Eight protons. Yeah, two. Two it is, yes. On a hill above the steel foundries of Birmingham, Alabama, is a huge statue of what ancient god of the forge? I think so. Hephaestus? That is correct, yes. Next. In the title of a novel about Phileas Fogg, writer Julius Verne specified what number of days that it took Mr. Fogg to travel around the world. What is your answer, please? 88. 80. Around the world in 80 days was the right answer. Good try. Next, math question, monitor, solve for X for me, please. Three. Three. It is three. Last question for you. is on his way to a class reunion at Williams College that what 20th U.S. president was assassinated? Garfield. It is Garfield. Well done. <laughs>
gets academic, we get into the grab background. Still up very close to Let's check that score right now. See on the right at 465. Baltimore City College, 320, and Century at 400. <laughs> <laughs> visuals in here worth 30 points. 30 points if you miss. Good luck. We begin. According to one count, there are 59 different bird species flying around what largest park in Manhattan? Yes, Century. C Central Park. Central Park it is. 9-11 in 2001 was a disaster. But on 9-11-1777, Americans cheered when George Washington won one pencil. Century. What you got? One, 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 one. Uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Brandywine, Brandywine, the Battle of Brandywine. Next, the first broadcast of Radio Free Europe in 1950. And it occurred in what language spoken in the city of Prague? Yes, Century. Check. Check. Check it is. Yep. 30 point question. Look at your monitor. Camouflaging itself is just another pair of leaves. This moth lives in what Central American country where San Jose is? Yes, Century. Uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica is right. The Weary Blues is a book by what tireless African-American poet whose last name rhymes with <laughs> Yes, C. Milton Wright. Hughes. Hughes, absolutely. Good. Next. What Norwegian boy slept without blankets and with an open window to harden himself in preparation for his later 1911 trek to the South Pole? <laughs> Century. And Munson. A Munson, you got it. Yes. Common logarithms have what number as their base? Century. Ten. Ten is right. 30-point question. Look at your monitors. Fiction is the selective transforming of reality. This idea comes from what man who created a unique sense of reality in his novel Life of Pi? Century. Yes, please. What you got? His name was Martel. Martel. Next, here's a choice. To physicists, a slug is a unit. Yes, century. Mass. Mass is right. Yep. Gorillas terrorize people in Congo, a novel by what same author who scared a lot of folks with dinosaurs in Jurassic Park? Yeah, Century. Michael Crichton. That's it. Eleven people were killed and a hundred wounded in 1886 when a bomb went off in what Chicago? Yes, Century. Haymarket. Haymarket is right. Thirty points. Look at your monitor. Queen Marie Antoinette was the daughter of what Austrian empress with what two-word name? That is Maria Theresa. Next, at the start of the Peloponnesian War, Athens was led by what man who had ruled Athens? Yes, century. Uh, may answer. Uh, Leonidas. What you got? Leonidas. Uh, Pericles was the right answer. The buzzer says, our game is over.
You guys really. Oh, that's a problem. Oh. <laughs> you guys finished strong, that's for sure. No. <laughs> Give us a few words. Huh? Do you have a few <laughs> words to say? <laughs> that the, the end was very exciting. Yeah, it was. It was close.